Hello, my beautiful Saggies. We are here doing your June predictions. I'm Rena Wells. Welcome, if you know are new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. We're getting some new subscribers. It's awesome. Um, take a look around, guys. I hope you love it. If you are returning, you know I would love you guys. I'm sending so much love. Hit that notification bell. Let's take a look. We're going to take a look at your foundation overall energies for June. Money, financial, and then we'll get into love. Sometimes they mix and match. We'll see what comes up. Let's see what's going on for June. For my beautiful fire, Saggies, Saggies, Saggies. My daughter is a double Sag, sun and moon and Sag. Ooh, can't get her to do anything. You guys are super independent, let me tell you. <laughs> Love you guys. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Make sure you're looking at your north node, guys, okay? What I'm getting here, Sag, okay. Yeah, spirit is saying to put it this way, okay. Wow. You're peeking out into a new vibration is what I'm getting. You've been in prayer, Sagittarius. And this is hard for Sag. This is what I'm bringing. You're very independent. Um, you're watching your mouth. You're really thinking about your actions. You're kind of trying to not be so stubborn is what I'm seeing. And the reason for that is because I'm seeing that things haven't quite grounded the way that you've wanted in the past. And these eclipse energies that have been coming through are really kind of getting you a little bit more fo focused what you what you really do want so i'm seeing that you're ready to manifest something completely new i think you've gained a new perspective about something something is just in light come into your enlightenment we have a rosebud coming out of this person's mouth and it's a new vision that's happening in the third eye there's some enlightenment that's happening and i feel it's something about words that were spoken or the way that maybe you were expressing your truest self you're realizing it wasn't your truest self you're like wait a minute the i feel like you were stuck in patterns and certain things were coming up and being like okay wait a minute um this hasn't been coming this has been coming up that i haven't really wanted to look at and i feel like you've started to recognize because you know things that you've been saying and how it's um an enlightenment that's happening because you know sometimes it's very hard to look at ourselves right and we're thinking why does this pattern keep coming up i have to look at it within me um to see this and that takes a that's part of the evolution process that takes a level of consciousness to come into this knowing spirit is saying that you have been praying you've come you've come into a place of being more humble you want a newer insight this is what i'm seeing you've seen things differently now and you're like how did i not see this i'm also feeling if you're dealing with a twin flame they're starting to recognize you now they're like what i didn't see this before but for you sag i'm feeling that the over independence is what i'm saying it's like okay wait a minute maybe I was being a little stubborn about this, or maybe my belief systems weren't quite, they, they were true, but there was more to the story and you didn't see it for what it was, is what I'm getting. And so June is really bringing a new vibration in so that you can ground this. This has been really bothering you. I feel you've been in a repeat cycle and you're, and, and you're sitting here waiting for this tree to come up but it's like a tree, dead tree stump. You've just been sitting here and wondering why, you know, this hasn't been happening it hasn't grounded um spirit wants you to see that you're looking at the darkness here you're stuck in a pattern there's like greenery over here behind you so let me pull another card on that because i feel like this has been an enlightening june's going to be enlightening for you as i'm looking at the bottom of the deck look what's here another card okay Look at that. It's like masculine and feminine energies coming into some type of alignment within yourself. You didn't realize something. Ah, that's what I'm getting in your connection, maybe with your twin and your high level soulmate. If this is love, a spirit wants me to pull that out. Um, is that you? Oh, okay. You recognize that what you were ever thinking about your person. You're like, oh, they're slow at doing this, they're, they're slow at doing that, or they're not doing that. You've had a realization of the mirror. You're coming into knowing this mirrored soul now. This is a mirrored soul. You're starting to be like, oh, wait a minute. I actually do that too. So you have both come into this. So it's actually, I shouldn't laugh, but it's like I've had that my own realizations about that. I'm like, my twin this and my twin that. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, I'm actually doing that. I'm actually afraid of my calling, but we don't know. We are oblivious to that until the lessons come and we continue to work on ourselves. So 
again, everything in divine timing and the lessons can't come in until God really brings it and that enlightenment can't come until it's ready to be recognized. So you've had this recognition that's coming to you in June. You're going to see the mirrored soul very much. And this is why things haven't been grounding. So clarify this one card here, spirit. Yeah, exactly. You see how the head, they're bringing up the head in this card. Sad, just completely like head down and not knowing why things aren't grounding. And that's because you're coming into this. This is the new mind that is cultivating. You may be having migraines is what I'm getting. For, if you've been having migraines, tiredness, fatigue, not sure, uh, vivid dreams, dizzy feelings. Spirit is saying that this is all part of, you know, um, this new enlightenment that's coming in. This is the new awareness. You're having a huge awakening coming in June about the mirrored connection, okay, but and, and about the balance of your masculine and feminine energies. Wow, Sag, let's take a look. What else is going on for Sagittarius, please, in their foundation, in their mission, in their work, please, Spirit? What is going on for Sagittarians in June? Predictions, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Don't forget to look at your North, north Node, guys. Your North Node tells you the direction that your soul is wanting to work on in this life so you're always going to be moving towards your north node so that gives you some insight of what you need to work on as well and heal okay what's going on here for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus yeah exactly you're realizing what's not for you okay so this is about mending bridges. So if this is a separation with somebody, your soul tribe family, this has come up in, in so many readings for June. Um, and we are in Mercury retrograde today. So people returning from your past, okay? This is about mending those bridges. Um, you're having a new insight. Because you're having this awakening in June, you're starting to see how you actually mirror with your masculine and feminine energies. In your foundation, there's something that's going to mend here. Okay, um, they're going to want you to go the distance in your healing journey. Okay, keep going, keep moving forward. So what I'm getting here is like there's a lot of um, awakening happening on both ends. Your finances and your money and all of this is tied into what you want to create now. Okay, this Mercury retrograde is slowing everything down. So you can get more precise of what you want to manifest. So it's a time, Sagittarius, to get very honest about what you want. Okay, so start becoming that visionary. Start creating, you know, um, a vision board. If you don't have one, I use Pinterest, you know. I switch it up every now and then. It's just for me. I don't follow anybody. It's just for me. And I make comments and do my own little thing. But it's like, if that helps you, you know, to visualize what you desire to get into that vibration, it's time to start doing that. Um... Because you're seeing, you're having the awakening now. A doorway is opening up between your masculine and feminine energies. You're gaining a newer perspective on things. You're seeing things more clearly. Spirit wants you to start um, imagining exactly what you do desire in your life, okay? And when you can do that, you're going to have an exchange of gifts here that's coming in. Spirit is going to be able to bring things to you that are for you. Okay, um, there's going to be an equal give and take between two people or more than two people, people returning from your past that you're going to be able to gift this new knowledge because you've both awakened, right? We have the masculine and feminine energies that have both awakened. So you're going to be able to gift your new knowledge with each other and be like, hey, I had this epiphany about us. I'm like, yeah, I did too. Oh my God, we're so alike. Like this is a mirrored soul thing that's happening. You know what's not for you now. What you thought was for you, and this is for some of you, so take it as a resonance. This is general. You may have been in a karmic situation thinking that you're, they were your twin flame, okay, Sag, but you're now realizing, whoa, that person wasn't for me, and you may have already known of somebody else, but they may have just been a friend, and you're like, whoa, wait a minute. That person is my person. That person is my twin, but I thought they were just a friend. It's almost like you have a deeper knowing of your path and where things are going, and you may have cut out an old friend. This is this. I'm getting a story here. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. You, for some Sagittarians, okay, you've had two people. Um, one you were working with, one that was just, you know, this person was just a friend, and the other that you really were in love with. And Spirit is bringing, and this is again, just for a small amount of you, okay, like two people. Spirit is saying that 
who you thought was your person, you've had a huge awakening that the person that you were working with or the old friend that you've known since you were a child is like your person and you're knowing what's for you and what isn't for you. And that's just for some of you. And for others of you, you've had this new awakening because you've been praying, you've been asking spirit for guidance. Um, they want you to keep going with this faith and trust in spirit so that God is going to exchange certain gifts to bring forward your person in an equal balanced uh, give and take. And you're going to recognize why it wasn't for you before. Okay. Why you were stuck in this place of loss. You had to gain this awakening before it could come towards you. So there's a lot of transformation coming in. You're getting new sight. Things are being revealed to you now because you've had this awakening. Okay, Sag, let's pull some tarot. You're definitely, definitely coming into a higher place of knowing what certain things have been happening in your life. And in regards to your finances and foundation, like this is um, about where you want to go with that. Okay, if you haven't been happy, Spirit is saying your job may not be for you. Okay, there may have been an opportunity to do something like a podcast is what I'm getting for some of you. And you're like, why didn't I do the podcast with this person? Then you can realize that's your person. You're like, oh, my God, why didn't I do that podcast? Why wasn't I, um, you know, I'm getting some something else for you, your work, your artwork. You had an opportunity to display your artwork. You may not have gotten paid for it, but someone offered to advertise or to put your art somewhere. And you're like, no, I'm not getting money for it. But now you're getting a new perspective. Like, damn, that was an opportunity. So these little things are coming forward. Spirit is also saying some of you had an idea to write a song, but you didn't actually write it down. And you've heard a song on the radio that was very similar to what you got. It could have been last year. And you're like, wait a minute. That's my song. So Spirit is trying to bring these synchronicities forward so that you have this awakening of where you're actually at and to trust what you're getting and to start actioning those things to in your foundation to manifest and imagine and visualize this to bring it more into fruition, okay? So that's what's happening with your foundation. You're getting off um, the path that you're on. This is switching up page of wands in reverse. This is switching up your spiritual path. Your path that you're on, your foundation is going to shift. Okay. You have to move on to calmer waters. You're getting in a boat and you're going somewhere else. So anything with finances, money, foundation, all of that, this awakening is going to bring in a brand new way of living. Okay, Saj. Um, this isn't going to be something that you thought that you could do. Like they're saying some of you are a poet. You have to write a book of poetry. I'm getting for some of you. There's a book of poetry that you're supposed to be writing and to self-publish it. But you didn't realize that you had an opportunity to do that. It's almost like these signs have been coming to you guys, but you didn't see it until now. And Spirit's like, get on the move now. That's your new foundation. It's not like you're in a... Some of you may leave your job, some of you may not, but this is to action this higher vibration. King of Wands. This is to action that masculine energy, Okay. The feminines had an, an, an awareness, the masculines had an awareness, and however that balance is within you is to now action that as you move forward, okay? There's definitely a mending of bridges with the masculine energy that is slowly then going to move towards you to exchange a gift to you. What's not for Sagittarius? Yeah, you're ending your pain in old karmic cycles, okay? Um, you're not going to be um, getting involved with anything like that. You are wanting to definitely um, move forward in your life in every aspect, okay? What is this mending bridges? Yeah, this is a masculine energy that's been blocked to you, okay? And it had to be blocked at a certain point because you had to have this awakening, okay? Sag, yeah, you had to, uh, you had to discover yourself in a deeper way, okay? And that came through prayer, okay? Clarify this uh, masculine feminine awakening here. It had to be done through prayer. You, you're, and June is going to be more of that awakening process. Karmic justice, okay? Karma is playing in your favor here, okay? So what is yours will be yours, your birthright. You don't have to worry about that. What is always yours will be for you. You are recognizing what is not for you. And you've had an awakening about, you, about it. You may be at a crossroads right now trying to put your head in the sand. Spirit doesn't want you to ignore it, okay? Uh, try not to ignore it. I know it can be a little uncomfortable, but sometimes we have to sit in that uncomfortable energy to really see clearly, okay, through the fog. 
and that that can be that can be difficult okay i understand that completely but the uncomfortable energy is where you actually gain a lot of um your insight just give me a yeah sorry so yeah there's a lot of justice coming through this last this awakening in june has to happen in order to start this new um evolution process that you're going through let's take a look and see i'm going to pull some actually a little bit more about your foundation here with these um numerology cards what else is coming through for sagis please in regards to their finances and their money please and their mission work what is going on for sagittarius please what is going on for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node? Your environment. Yeah, this is how you've been living. 4-4, four, four, your foundation. For some of you. Um, it could be the work that you're doing. Everything. And this is why all these different examples came up about, wow, I missed an opportunity doing that. They're not missed opportunities. Spirit wants you to realize you weren't ready. You had to have this awakening. That justice is coming forward. What is this justice is coming forward if you start putting the effort in? So when you are guided now, okay, uh, Sagittarius, start putting the effort into your life because this awakening is bringing massive balance into your life. Um, with your person, with your foundation, with your mission, with your job, okay? It's time to actually put the effort. If that means that you have to go find a new job, I'm definitely seeing to change your environment and your foundation start doing that. It's definitely something to put the effort in in your foundation. Let's clarify. This is also another four. Okay. It's a 13. So that's also a four. You have four, four here. That's all about foundation. The four corners of the earth. Um, the four elements. Balance. Karmic justice. Okay. So it's going to cause conflict. Yes. You may have to sell a house and leave somebody. You may have to like move in with somebody else or for, for help whatever your whatever the case may be spurs like you it's this awakening that it you can't do it any other way now you have to put the effort into this yes it's going to cause some conflict um but without conflict and change and shifts um you can't move into a new stable fine uh foundation spirit really wants you to focus on this and put the work into this especially with your foundation your people that you're hanging out with what and, yeah and spirit is saying it may feel like it's a step back but it's not it's to give you an opportunity and a relaxed energy you have to be in a relaxed energy to be able to manifest and you have to be in a relaxed energy in order to heal so spirit is saying this may seem like it's a step backwards but it's not okay sag i know you're highly independent but um I understand that too. I was toxically independent, okay, that I didn't need anybody. It's only recently in my life that I'm allowing people to heal in my family and my and you know, coming here to Guyana helping my family having my family help me to raise my children because I can't do it by myself, you know. It's too hard. It's too hard. You get strung out, especially when you hit mid forties like I do. It's too hard. So the spirit is saying this is the opportunity that's coming and may seem like a step back, but just focus and work. It is for this balancing that's happening in your masculine and feminine energies. All right, let's take a look at love now. Let's take a look at love. Because um, I really feel that this is um, for the best, Sag. It really is. You're really seeing what's happening for you. Uh, it's a beautiful balance. It's new opportunities. It's mending bridges with your past. Um, and it's a new, um, beautiful, new uh, opportunity to create something really amazing for you you have artistic gifts it's part of your mission that's what i'm seeing for a lot of you what is going on here for sag yeah you've been dealing with um a lot of narcissists in your life another four a dead to the old okay which is a 13 so that's death that's transformation those are endings to narcissistic energy that's a five which is the conflict you may not a lot of people may not like what you're doing sagittarius but you can't deal with narcissism anymore okay um you've been dealing with people that have been sucking from you wherever this old vibration is it's like it and where there's been blocked emotional energy has kept your person away from you too okay um you've been dealing with it and your person's been dealing with it and it's just you're slowly moving through it um but to deal with narcissist energy um 
it, both of you are starting to put an end to it. So don't look at it as a step back, okay? Whew, you're really healing on a deep, deep level, Sag. I can feel it. You are really healing on a deep, deep level, okay? There is a third party involved. So this is karmic justice when it comes to a third party. This is the narcissistic energy that's happening in your connection. Your person is dealing with it right now. They are going through also a rebirth. That's why you're having this awakening in June. Your person has instigated an awakening in you that you are going through in June that you are going to then action is what I'm getting in your foundation um, to bring the justice forward. And again, it's not a step back. This is to be in a more relaxed state to allow this transformation to happen. And what's going to happen after this transformation spirit in June? Okay. <laughs> your person's questioning. I'm not sure um, how you feel about me. Because they may have seemed a bit narcissistic, but there's more coming in June. A marriage, okay? Cathedral commitment, okay? There's something more of God coming in and really bringing through something. And what's going to happen with this nurse, this um, third party? There are drastic changes in my life right now. So your person's going through it. You're going through it. This karmic energy is happening. Um, it's shifting. It's moving in June. So just realize that if it seems like a step back, it's not. Take the awakening for what it is and just go with your gut and follow with what you know you need in your life. And that is going to bring a balance to you and your person, okay? What is going on in love here for Sagittarius, please? What is going on in love for Sagittarians, please, for my Sagis, for my beautiful Sagis? Yeah, this person is dealing with a snake, okay? Let's take a look here. Both of you have been stuck by, stung by, <laughs> struck, I should say, stung <laughs> by Cupid's arrow here. It says, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. So this is something that may happen, um, communication, okay? Someone was stuck with um, a snake energy. Uh, look at this, empathy and narcissist paradigm, Okay. Both of you were stuck in this because just because your person may have been in a karmic situation, you may have been in a family situation. All right. Both of you are ending that. That's why this is clarity here. The, the rose and the, and the sword. Truth is coming forward about what narcissist energy is. That's what this awakening is happening. It's changing everything in your life, Sag. Okay. It's also bringing forward, look, healthy choices to make this. So you've got to make those healthy choices no matter if it don't look good on paper. Okay. It doesn't matter what people think. You have to do what's best for you. Make those healthy choices that support you in your new vision, in your new transformation, and go forward with passion. There's a lot of passion and love that's going to be coming forward here, Sag. Um, so this connection is on the mend. It's going through massive transformation in June, a lot of awakening. You keep grounding it. You keep visualizing it. Your person does feel this, that they know that they've been, they've been uh, duped is what I get. They've been duped. But they're making healthy choices too, passionately. They see the truth of the situation and so do you with other people in your life. And that's bringing massive change in your foundation that's grounding in your environment. So make the effort. Okay, Sag, so much love to you. If you would like a reading, again, all the info is down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye, guys.